dfcradio.com. Oh yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Farmer Table Cannabis. Five o'clock, the kitchen's open. It's a happy holiday. We got a holiday special for you today. And uh, we are the only show offering you gardening advice, cooking advice, answering your questions, and doing all around edible reviews. We're getting high off that supply so you can learn about it. All right. So uh, we got a packed show for you today. A lot on the menu tonight. We got Mystery Baking Company in the studio. Those guys are uh, a well established edible maker. They've got some uh, awesome sauces and some awesome products to talk to us about. And then um, we got a hydro store spotlight from our good friends over at Los Angeles Hydroponics and Organics in Los Angeles. So uh, excited to have Stan, the Grow Wizard, on the phone with us tonight to talk about that. And then we have a cooking demo for all you. Uh, holiday ham eaters because you know turkey turkey's done to death man and my family we, we we grew up we did a we did a holiday ham so i'm gonna do a medicated holiday ham in our cooking demo with a cannabis infused pineapple dressing and uh, we actually got some in the studio today we're having a uh, a party in the studio right now we're uh, eating and getting our grub on and getting our medication on and uh saint you're gonna eat some food here i'm gonna twist your arm and stuff it down you hell yeah so um yeah i just come back from a two-week waro trip man i've been grinding i've been grinding so hard no grass can even grow under my feet man um turkey day's right around the corner and uh they had me out in um at the high times harvest cup so you know when it's uh harvest time you got to get out there to the high times cup it was a it was a well-attended event you know, it, it's uh, it's the last one before we go recreational in California. So you saw a lot of people hitting the grind, trying to get their uh, their gray market on, their little black market grind with all the getting's good, which kind of uh, brings us to our uh, news article today of uh, the regulations and, and what's coming forward. Because we know with uh, legalization and recreation comes regulation. And uh, California just released its long-awaited cannabis regulations over the weekend and uh it sounds like it's going to allow for fucking huge farms, but there will be no cannabis cappuccinos or drone deliveries in California. Under the new pot rules, state officials released Thursday that regulate everything from who can legally sell and deliver marijuana to how it must be packaged and transported. The rules released by three licensing agencies, the Department of Health, Department of Food and Agriculture, and the Bureau of Cannabis Control, offer the first glimpse of what the future in which pot is legal throughout California. Now, big farms will continue to thrive in Mendocino and Monterey. Small delivery services will finally operate legally. Pot won't be transported in self-driving cars or on bicycles, and it isn't allowed in strip clubs. Wah, wah, wah. Those guidelines come amid mass confusion among cities that haven't put together their own regulations for the sales of recreational marijuana. So basically, it's like, get your shit together, man. Like, if you haven't already set up the, the, the rules for your state and your area and your county for uh, on how to get the cannabis going on, like, come on, man. It's, it's 2018. Come on. You got California on board now. And California's regulations dealt a win to cannabis delivery businesses, which for years have operated in the shadows. They will now be allowed to apply for a license once the new rules take effect next month. With delivery, it's been a huge fight, said Nina Parks, a co-founder of the San Francisco-based cooperative Miracle Mirage Medicine, which allows patients to order cannabis through a website and have it brought to their doorstep. When you think of bedridden patients or elderly people, they don't want to travel far to get their medicine, Parks said. Yet the state will allow cannabis to be delivered only in cars and trucks, transported by aircraft, watercraft, drone, rail, human-powered vehicles, lock nets, monsters, saint on a fucking unicycle. None of those things are acceptable, according to these rules. But the edible cannabis products also contain no more than 100 milligrams of euphoria-inducing tetrahydrocannabinol, commonly known as THC, in each 10 servings. So that means 100 milligrams per 10 servings in one package. That's 10 milligrams per edible. And other products such as lotions, tinctures, and limited to 2,000 milligrams of THC in the medicinal market or 1,000 milligrams for regular adult use. So I hope you're writing notes. We're doing this. We're doing the look for you so you don't have to. That means some people 
but extremely potent items like the Black Bar Brownies from our boys at Corva Edibles, which has 1,000 milligrams of THC, will technically be illegal January 1st. Cannabis labels cannot decorate with cartoons or other marketing that appeals to children. Manufacturers also can't use the term candy in any other branding language. This new regulation is also prohibited businesses from mixing cannabis with alcohol, nicotine, caffeine, or seafood. They didn't say anything about cheese. Fuck yeah. That provision won't affect brews like Supercritical Ale, a new cannabis beer by Lagunitas Brewing Company in Petaluma. Shout out to Lagunitas. They're going to have a fucking awesome new cannabis beer out. It's made with terpenes, plant oil compounds, and has a strong flavor but contains no THC. The state also clamped down on the aesthetics of cannabis products, which cannot be made in the shape of human beings, animals, insects, fruit. Mario Klein of the Department of Health said that at the cannabis advisory meeting, none of those things will be available. So... Don't try to shape your shit like a Smurf. It's not going to happen. It's, those days are over. The rules didn't include size restrictions for marijuana farms and nurseries either. So a notable shift from the one-acre cap from the state's Department of Food and Agriculture had proposed an environmental impact report. So the idea of limiting cannabis agriculture to one-acre plots had become a major point of debate in the industry. It would have benefited small businesses and blocked corporations from setting up huge farms or greenhouses in the Salinas Valley. But now that the cap has been tossed... California has set the stage for marijuana to be the next major industrial cult. Ezekiel Allen, executive director for the California Growers Association, called the decision a catastrophe. So simply put, there will be too many, too much supply, and there will be noting the federal law still prohibits interstate shipment of controlled substances. And reports from the Food and Drug Administration Agricultural Show that the state already produces far more marijuana than it consumes. Even so, the state has set up a sliding scale fee system so that companies can pay much more for licenses than their mom and pop counterparts. The biggest distributor companies that expect to earn more than $80 million in gross will pay $125,000 annually. That's a takeover, guys. That's a, that's, a, that's a big, scary thing for some of these craft cannabis producers. So through California's rural areas may soon be exploding with marijuana, San Francisco and other Bay Area cities appear to be lagging behind. Dispensaries in this city won't immediately enter the adult use market, since the state will only issue licenses to business that have local permits. However, regulators offered some flexibility for the first four months. So you still got this gray area allowing any licensed farm or nursery to sell cannabis products to an any licensed dispensary, regardless of whether... to keep a little bit of leeway in there for the black market people and for the people that are still trying to get their T's crossed and their I's dotted. The extension is very necessary, they said, the industrial consultant Sean Donahue, who was watching a live stream of the meeting from the top floor of the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Vegas, where thousands of industrial bigwigs gathered this week. And so it's scary, man. They're talking about it. The regulations finally came out. There's going to be some do's and some don'ts. And uh, we're going to help you guys sift through all the bullshit and uh, find out whether or not you want to get into this wonderful thing that we call the cannabis industry. So uh, it was a big week last week, the MJ BizCon. We were all out there, ran into our friends from Mystery Baking Company, and uh, we're going to get them in the studio here in a minute. And uh, we're also going to get Stan the Man, the Grow Wizard from Los Angeles Hydro on the uh, on the line here. So let us uh, pay one bill. We're going to bring back... Uh, the best uh, best sauce company I can name, which is Mystery Baking Company. So hang on, dfzradio.com. Hydroponic Chef. If I'm rolling up some trees, you can smoke with me. I like the blood. I like the blood. If I'm rolling up some trees, you can smoke with me. I like the blood. I like the blood. We brush the east by Marley. My blunt got a cold cut, Steve Harvey. I catch the buds with my glove, Steve Garvey. Quick to roll in the club, cause we party. They asking where the bomb at? Cause everybody in the club smell that. It's breeze, get loaded TV. Smoke about a pound every day of the week. Roll so fast you didn't see him coming your way. Turned around and there was a blunt up in your face. You must have thought that I was finished. The breeze is never stingy with the spinach. Rolling up some 
have some trees. You can smoke with me. I like the blunt. I like the blunt. If I'm rolling up some trees, you can smoke with me. I like the blunt. I love the stickiest weed, cause I'm a Cali baby Started from that chocolate tie from them early 80s Now it's OG, a perfect mix with my OE The shot of lean, had a G moving slowly Apparently, you ain't never smoked like me Load these switches up like they were some magazines I got some bad bitches rolling up blunts for me Hop in the rotation, true story you can see Even your bitch eyeballing, wanna hit the tree Smoking on weed, living life with my homie Breeze I got that green thumb, I grow my own fucking weed And if I got some problems, I'm hitting heavy tea Hey, bro, your car is looking sweet, man. What are you using? Yeah, man, I'm using a premium cocoa nutrient. Cocoa Tech A and B, man. It's an aggressive formula for increased yield during the flowering phase. Wow, so this is made especially for cocoa? You better believe it, man. It comes with easy-to-use two-part formula. Formulated aggressive growth and superior blooms. Whoa, bro. Yeah, man, tell them, Bob. This aggressive formula contains proprietary blends of calcium to ensure your plants thrive. Backed by years of research, Cocoa Tech Premium Cocoa Nutrients are specifically designed to support and enhance your cocoa core growing experience. Use Cocoa Tech Premium Nutrients with Cocoa Tech Premium Cocoa Core for optimum results. Yeah, man. Yo, it's BKJ on Team King, and you're listening to DFZ Radio. What? Hey guys, this is Alice Moon. I'm sending some major love to the Hydroponic Chef. He did an epic job at the High Times Cook-Off. So go follow him. I don't, yeah, I'm high now. <laughs> sending some love, 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 love. Down the west coast, candy paint dripping cause I just got a fresh coat. California raised me an LA baby. The Chevrolet raisin, scraping on Dayton's, grind down those grands, get with the program. Call me the drone man, the hydro's pope sands. Got your eyes low, lower than the ocean. Just west coasting through the coast with the potion and the best drove to smoke. The baddest bitches, girls in bikinis, with ass titties. The hustle game easy, you just can't believe till you see me on TV. Drive down the wrong street, might see the tech smoke. Hop in the ride and let's go to the West Coast. This life is like a movie. You meet a model bitch, then you fuck her like a goon. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, Farm to Table Cannabis. All right, 
So, man, last week and the week before that, this is such a fucking blur to me. I feel like I haven't stopped moving, man. It started off at the High Times Cup. Um, that was a good event. I seen uh, the homies from Mystery Baking and so many good people out there. And I had to connect with them, see if I could get him on the show, too. And then, couldn't help but got drug out to Las Vegas, too, for the MJ <laughs> Business Con. So, man, I have been to my fair share of shitty events this year, man. And, uh, you know, you catch yourself at an event talking to vendors because there ain't no fucking people there. And, I mean, this was true for a couple events this year. And I'll tell you what, the MJ Business Con at the Las Vegas uh, Convention Center was not one of those events. This event was cracking. There must have been over 18,000 people in between those two days. Um, just nonstop talking. We were there representing for Hawthorne and General Hydroponics, uh, Botanic Hair, Gavita, and Can Fan, and all of our friends out there with the Hawthorne crew. And, uh, man, it seemed like everywhere you went, you ran into somebody trying to invest or trying to get into this game. And uh, there's a whole lot of people that don't know anything about this plant, but they want to throw money at this industry. And uh, I think one of the biggest things I took away from that this place was there was a lot of fucking suits, man. <laughs> I got to I gotta get my grow on. I got to get my, my gear on, man. I can't be going to these trade shows with just a polo on anymore. I got to put on a motherfucking suit. And uh, so speaking of people that are suited and booted, we got the homie, Brian, from Mystery Baking Company in the building. Brian, yeah. introduce yourself, man. Yeah, what up, man? I'm Brian from Mystery Baking. We do those spreadables. We got the medicated honey, peanut butter, hazelnut. We got the sticks. And the new product right now, our product line is the juices. We got the strawberry. We got the berry. And we got the watermelon coming up, too. Hold on. Record scratch. Did you say the juices lose? The juices. Oh, shit. Yeah, so we got, a, we got some juices coming out. That's OJ the and shit? Nah, Dyke. Uh. <laughs> ah, see what I did there, man? He was slicing yeah. and dicing and cutting and gutting. Oh, that's watermelon. sorry. My bad. Yeah, just watermelon, though. Yeah, right. Watermelon, yeah. berry. Uh, we got some other flavors coming up, too. And then those are microdoses. Ah, see, there you go. So Mystery Baking Company are always evolving their brand. And I think that's one of the reasons I caught them up there at the MJ Business Con, because they're always looking for a way to take their product to the next level. They're not getting complacent. They, look, they looked on their packaging. They worked on their bottling. These are all things that I take note of your company that you do so well, man. And like, how, like, how, for anyone that doesn't know, how long have you been doing this? Uh, we've been doing this since 2013. Uh, wow. We've been uh, with the company. Uh, we used to make a... Originally, Rice Krispies, brownies. You got into it like everyone else did, yeah. you know, just with the with the confections and stuff. Yeah. Now, man, dude, you you're young, bro. Like, what do you like? How old are you, man? I'm 22. This guy's 22 <laughs> years old, co-owner of an edible company. I was I was I think I was more worried about girls and trying to fucking get a car. This guy's already killing it with his own business it at 22 years old, dude. It gets in the way, but oh yeah, well I'm sure, <laughs> man. But dude, I mean, th there's something about. Like the the next generation nowadays, they just start more and more hustling early and earlier. And I mean, you, you look at things differently, man, and I respect that. Yeah. Now, uh, when it came to bringing a product to the market, how tough is labeling and stuff? A lot of these guys at this event in MJ Expo, they, they have no idea. They got a great idea for a product, but they don't know what to do with it. Yeah, it takes a, it takes a really long time. Uh, we've done other trade shows like, like this one. Uh, we've gone and seen like labeling and we talked to a lot of people, but... All the labeling and everything that we have done, it, it has come from in-house because uh, I heard you reading the regulations and we kind of hadn't gone through it. We we read as much as we can. We have talked to other people. So this you is You saw like, the writing on the wall. You knew where this thing was going. Yeah, so you pretty much. kind of like, foreshadowed that. So it's um, big ups to you for having it already. You crossed your T's and dot your I's already before a regulation even goes through. But now branding. That's something that, geez, do you get a gold star for that? How the fuck did you, I mean, obviously social media, but dude, everyone knows you. You're on Edible List Magazine. I see you at all the events. Like, what can you give a recommendation to an up-and-coming edible company to try to get on your grind? It's going to be hard to do, but what can you recommend? Um, I can just recommend for them to, like you said, stay on the grind and just try to push themselves and just try, go for the best, you know? We're, we're trying really hard. We're a really small company, but we have a really good team. Well, I think one of the things that, you know, you do that a lot of these people that they can't really, you know, pound their chest and brag about is you source your own ingredients. Yeah, That's why, from, you know, on Farm to Table Cannabis, we love showing off the companies that actually get their own ingredients locally or source their own ingredients from a good source. So, uh, you know, talk about that. I mean, you have access to farms. You have access to bees or peanuts. Like, how does it work, man? Uh, we have a few people. We, uh, before, like I said, we used to make, like, the Rice Krispies and stuff like that. And we have a lot of people. We have made a lot of connections. Um, we have a few friends that live like in Bakersfield area, 
So they have hooked us up with a few people there. Uh, they have farms. Uh, we get the, the honey from the Bakersfield um, area, so it's raw honey, and then we just infuse it with our extract from our own flower, which is uh, San Fernando OG. Oh, there we go. And, and, and you're gardening your own or you're sourcing your own cannabis too? Uh, we are growing our own. We are having our own garden. There we go. That's a big deal because, you know, when you're able to grow your own craft cannabis and use it in your own product, you can control a lot better about, you know, what goes in there. So Brian's taking the right steps. He's making sure all the pesticides that are used are safe for human consumption. He's making sure that all of the growing practices are safe so there's no pathogens or, uh, you know, any uh, mold or funguses in their product. So that's a big deal when you can control your own garden because uh, that gives you a lot more understanding of what the end product comes out with. So big ups to you, man. Big ups to you. Now, um, when it came to gardening and, and food and all that stuff, what came first, dude? Um, cooking or uh, cannabis? Um, first, it became the cooking. Word. So he was yeah. a chef before. He, <laughs> all right, I can dig that. So he was fucking oh, with yeah. food before he was, I was fucking doing, with cannabis. Okay. I was doing food before, you know. Got to get up early, go to school, cook something. Uh-huh, you know? uh-huh. And now, did you uh, come from a family where cooking was, like, really big for you? Or? Uh, yeah. Like, my mom, uh, I'm originally from Guatemala, so we have a big uh, Guatemalan cuisine, you know? 22 so. years old, from Guatemala, and he freaking is a co-owner of his own fucking baking company. Like, come on, dude. Oh, yeah. This guy's living the dream right now, man. I'm like, I'm lightweight tripping on this kid right it now. Takes, it takes the team, though. I have a, I have a really solid team. Uh, we do really good. They grind. Shot him out. Yeah. Uh, the chef, uh, my assistant, uh, his name is uh, Chris. He's uh he's my chef uh, assistant Chris. I also got um Scooby. Ah, uh, Scoob. Uh, I much love the Scoob, man. Yeah, he's my partner. Um, he grinds it up. He's the designer. He's the one taking the extra steps, making sure that all the reg- we meet regulation that we're on top of everything. You know that making sure that we're we're on place and some time stuff like that. And well, speaking we- about being on top of everything, you're, I mean, you also put yourself in the right places at the right time. Now, when we were doing this um after party at the MJ Business Con. I mean, it didn't take much to pull your arm to ask you to come set up an edible bar. And, I mean, if you if you haven't seen that, you check out my Instagram and you check out uh, Mystery Baking Companies. When they put out their spread, it is colorful as shit. Like, this is, some, this is like, the type of thing where you could host, like, little uh, 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 edible parties. And you can have a different sample for each thing because they have a honey. And the honey is 300 milligrams in that um, two cups of that jar. Uh, this one's four ounces. So four ounces. this is going to so be half a half cup. Half a cup. And he's got 300 milligrams in a half a cup. And then uh, he's got a, a, a chocolate hazelnut spread, which the, is also 300 milligrams. Yeah, 300. Uh, we also got the peanut butter, which is like a peanut butter. The, one of their most versatile products, in my opinion. Because yeah. I think the butter, the peanut butter, you can use it in so many different ways. You can use it in desserts. I took it and turned it into a Thai peanut sauce just by adding a little soy sauce and chili uh, chili sauce. So, I mean, dude, the peanut butter, I really dig that one. You can tell you're using good fresh <laughs> peanuts. It's not just some fucking Jif put in a bottle and reanimated. And then uh, what's the other what's the other flavor you got coming out? Uh, we got the two new flavors that we added to our line, which is the grape jelly and the strawberry jam. Mm. So those are those are really good because you can't. Have He's got that grapes. <laughs> you can have peanut butter without that grape. You know what uh-huh, I'm saying? Uh huh. And that's what they were serving up at the uh, at the uh, Hawthorne after party mixers. They were doing a uh, medicated s'mores and then medicated peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Dude, that shit was on point. Uh, so I was challenging them a little, right? <laughs> so uh, we had non medicated food, right? And I just I'd throw the homie Scooby. I'd be like, Hey, here's a cupcake. Here's a graham cracker. Here's a marshmallow and some M and M's. Garnish this cupcake, and then he would come with some hazelnut sauce and scrub it over the top, and then grab, br- grind up that graham cracker on top. You guys, you guys have got a little bit of art flair in there too. You guys, did you guys go to school for culinary or anything, or you just hard knock it off? Uh, I, I know Scooby did. He he did shout, go to school shout for Shout out that. to Scooby. Yeah, right? he did. He he took some classes. The first you know? thing we, I said when I finished culinary school is, God, I wish I didn't pay for that shit. <laughs> that shit was expensive, and I goddamn could have hard knocked it the whole way, you know. And we had a, who was it, Moon, Moon, Moonlight Dining. They were in here the other day, and they were like, the first thing I would say is fuck culinary school. Yeah. I'm like, damn, okay, tell me how you really feel. Yeah, but well, our product allows us to, like, really show it off, you know. Um, you can use it pretty much on anything. So when we get creative and you're hungry, you can pretty much make anything, you know. And our, our product tastes really good. It's really bomb. But you still have a little bit of cannabis flavor in there. That's the thing I noticed is you didn't do like a lot of these other companies and just do away with the entire uh, profile of the flavor because – this cannabis, they complement things like the peanut butter and the earthiness from that. And I mean, when I when I have one of those grapes, you know, I want a little bit of a different flavor. I don't want it to just be the regular grape jelly I had on the shelf. Yeah. Now you said you're using the SFOG. 
Mm-hmm. You're using that in every single one of the flavors, so it's yeah. consistent across the board. Yeah, every single one, uh, we use that, that flower, and, and uh, it's been doing great for us. We've been having that one uh, before a, li- a little bit before 2013. I, I'll say probably like 2011. So we had been working with it for a while until so we decided to pretty much use it for our edibles. Well, I mean, it's a strong, it's a strong cannabis um, profile. It's got a high THC content, so yeah, it's definitely. good for blending for you too. And then it also has some of those good woody, earthy notes, so yeah. it's not going to be too overpowering. I dig that. Big fan of the SFOG. So why don't you and I take a dab? We'll get nice and medicated. Yeah, we'll take for a sure. couple commercial breaks, and then we're going to come right back, you guys, and then we're going to talk some more with Brian from Mystery Baking Company on Farm to Table Cannabis, DFCRadio.com. DFCRadio.com Launch crew, ready to reservoir. What's the load factor, sir? Bring in the riser blast liquid at two mils per gallon. Okay, sir. We are loaded and ready to launch. Ten, nine. Okay, eight. man. It's time to blast off into the plant's root zone and into another galaxy of root growth. Rhizoblast is a proprietary blend of seaweed and the single-celled algae chlorella. Chlorella's abundance of amino acids and minerals contribute to its value in hydroponics. The benefits used in Rhizoblast are explosive root growth, the use with any growing medium or hydro system, its ideal use for transplanting, and the enhancement of your plant vigor and fast flowering plants. Let your plants have a blast and see a world of a difference with Rise of Blast from Botanicare. Check it out at www.botanicare.com. DFCRadio.com Do it. The 
Farm to Table Cannabis. That was the homie, The Saint. Yeah. That was Swift. Yeah. Get it. So, yeah, man, we're here. Mystery Baking Company. We got some food. We got JC in the building, too, hanging out, taking deaths, talking about titties. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, fuck yeah, man. I just watched Brian take a big old dab Ooh. off some of this herbals. Those guys were fucking tasty. Good as fuck, huh? Those fucking guys should have. Those guys on point. Yeah, those yeah. guys should have took first. That's all I gotta say. Those <laughs> motherfuckers got their shit on point. So, uh, yeah. yeah, man, when it comes to your uh, your products, the honey, I dig it. Peanut butter, one of the most versatile in my opinion. <laughs> the butter, duh. Come on, you can the do best. fucking everything with that. Now, tell me, what, what do you? What's your favorite way to infuse using your products? I've seen you do a whole bunch of things at all these events. Tell people how to use your product. All right, so right now, um, got the honey right here. Uh, this one right here is probably one of my favorite ones to use. Uh. Personally, um, I run a lot, so I, I usually just put uh, about one tablespoon in my water bottle, and I shake it up, and I go on a run, and pretty much helps me a little bit with the inflammation and the impact while I'm running because of oh, the indica. So it. that's how I use it, and I encourage other people to stay active. If they want to be healthy, they can use this product. You know. And now, what if you're like me and you want to stay unhealthy? You might want to <laughs> get you might you might want to add a little bit of that shit to your alcohol. <laughs> All right. So if you want to do that. Then I got you covered too. Um, we got a microdose right here. This are, new, are one of our new um, products. It's pretty much honey sticks. Like and back in the '80s, I remember that shit. Like they were sitting there at the at the, at the fucking front of the uh, at the liquor store, and it was like some flavored honey. But these ones are medicated. Yeah, so these ones are medicated, and then you can find them at over 80 dispensaries around the LA area. And how many milligrams per uh, stick? This ones are only 10 milligrams, so it's a microdose. You know, that's perfect for bartending too. I mean, that, that shit shut the that, it shut the shit down at the, at the after party we were at, and he was just using these to infuse cocktails, 10 milligrams per drink. And if you can imagine, you go through the night, you have about four cocktails, you're feeling pretty fucking good. Yeah, I, I had like three myself at, at, at the after party. What were we calling it? The uh, We're calling it the High Cowboy. So yeah, here's, here's cowboy. your High Cowboy recipe. Yeah. Featuring write it down, write it down. Company, all right. So one of the 10 milligram honey sticks, 
You're going to do a shot of whiskey and two shots of your favorite energy drink that's ginger flavored. And you're going to, you know, top that with the honey and the honey straw. And that's what we call a high cowboy. Howdy, cowboy. Started with the straw. Uh, Hydro <laughs> Chef approved. So, Brian, man, you are seriously doing it big, man. What's the next event they can catch you at? Um, what are you going to be doing? Uh, the next event that we're going to be doing is actually uh, right around the corner next week, Blazers Cup. Oh, uh, shout out. That's fucking going down. The, I forgot. Uh, December 2nd and 3rd. That's Tommy's, right? Yeah. With Tommy Chong. Tommy right Chong's there. doing it big. Yeah, so they're going to be there. They're going to be San doing... Bernardino? Yeah, not center. I hate driving to Victorville. I'll, I'll do it for Dougie and Chalice, but, I mean, it's a hard one to get me to otherwise. Yeah, it's kind of... That one's a little bit out of the way, but this one's uh, San Bernardino, not center, December 2nd and 3rd, Blazers Cup. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of things. We, we have a little... A little thing uh, coming up for the patients. We're going to ha- be doing live demos like we always do. We started doing that for the patients. We started doing uh, medicated medicated um, s'mores. We're gonna oh, be doing yeah. That. That's an easy one, too, because yeah, so, you can just toast them with a torch. Yeah, we, we did that. We, we did that. We're going to have to steal that one from, from, uh, from you. From Hydro the Chef approved because, you know, you know, when I'm kicking <laughs> it and I'm dabbing and I see there's some marshmallows that need toasting, the Hydro Chef gets to roasting. You know it. Yeah, so we're gonna have to steal that one, and we also do uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna be doing some waffles. Oh, uh, uh, medicated waffles. If my boy comes through with the fryer, we might have the chicken. So waffles and chicken. Chicken medicated. and waffles with a little bit of that honey. That's one of my the favorite honey. So that's, things. That's another recipe right there for you guys, and then you guys can use a little bit of the can of butter to put it on the chicken, and pretty much. And then what about tea? Tell them about the tea in your drinks too. Oh, uh, this one's great with um with unsweetened tea. And it will flavor it uh, nice and sweet. And you can also use one of our honey sticks that come in five flavors. Uh, grape, orange, lemon, and original. And you can use that one for your tea as well. That's what's up, man. So you got some killer recipes. You got a huge future ahead of you in this edible industry. Man, I'm fucking hella happy for you. And, uh, you know, we got to get you back in here. We're going to team up and do some kind of cookout, some kind of joint, you know, mystery baking no, we company, have to do hydroponic for the chef, pop-up, you know. So, uh you know, just keep an eye out for Brian and uh, Mystery Banking Company. Go follow them at Mystery Baking Company. You're going to stick around for a minute. We're going to take this yeah. um, hydroponic store spotlight call, and then uh, then we're going to go to our uh, our next feature. So, uh, plus, I got a cooking demo. If you stay tuned, you can win a, a butter brewer from our yeah. good friends at the Butter Brewer. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to move on to our friend uh, Stan. Stan's over at Los Angeles Hydroponics and Organics out there on Artesia. And, I mean, this dude is a grow wizard, and... Uh, we're going to spotlight the store this week. They got a big sale coming up and a big event, and uh, I'm going to press this button twice, right, Saint? Yep. I hate hanging up on my favorite people. Stan, my dude, the legend, the myth, the wizard. What's up, brother? How you doing? So good, man. We're so gracious to have you on Farm to Table Cannabis. And, I mean, we'd like to do a little, uh, a little spotlight on our local hydro stores every week. And uh, this week, Los Angeles Hydro is throwing an event, and we wanted to bring you on so you oh, could yeah. give the people an idea of what you guys got going on over Listen there. Up. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and so this, uh, this Friday, we're going to be having people down. We're going to have some food and drinks in the store, have 45% off. But moreover, we're going to have education like we do every day in the store. What we try to do is educate the consumer about practical application, and, and this is truly off applied application, so stuff that we've done. From root to shoot to the fruit, we can help you get laced up. <laughs> root and, to the uh, shoot to the fruit. <laughs> I dig it. Stan's a gangster. If you guys don't know that, you need to go check him out at his shop. What's the address out there? It is 3009 Artesia Boulevard, Torrance, California, 90504. Uh, so come on out and see us. Uh, and now, and the, we're here for you. Stan is active in the community, you guys. Like Stan's not just out there taking, 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 just trying to sell hydro. And, you know, he's teaching people how to grow the finest craft products he's teaching people from the root all the way to the end to the fruit to harvest like that you you yeah, from seed to sale baby seed to sale there's something about that man and like you, you you do it you do it a little bit different too from the layout out of your store to just your customer service so if you could touch on that for a minute what made you decide to give such good customer service in an area where people are just you know slinging product only well to be honest this industry saved my life so at 15 years old i was diagnosed with aplastic anemia had to get a bone marrow transplant by my brother and, and for about five years was uh, pretty much uh, di- dying in every hospital in SoCal. Um, so luckily through a good family, um, some good doctors and good luck, uh, I was able to make it through. And then with Mark over in OC, the way they taught me. Shout uh, out to Mark at OC Hydroponics. They're having a big oh, yeah. sale too. Yes, they're 45% off down there also. Uh, those boys down there uh, kind of linked me up 
gave me a life, uh, able to be able to tell me how to speak well in the sense of in front of customers, giving them practical application based off applied knowledge, not something I'm guessing or regurgitating. Yeah, because they don't uh, realize Stan might be well-spoken, but he's from the streets, not the suites. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, for me, this is all I've ever done. Uh, the first paycheck ever cut to me was cut to me by me, by my own shop. So it's like, the, the, believe me, the... The knowledge that comes down to here is off my own play deck, and I'm giving it to you because I believe this industry needs somebody to come out and, and educate the consumer. And not to say I'm the only one, but I do believe that I pride myself as being one of the few that is, has been doing this for a long time, cares about the consumer, the manufacturers, uh, the people in my store. I believe in them. So you see it on my shelf, you know I rock it. So what are some of the top selling products in your store, then, if I can get a shameless promotion? So obviously, General Hydro pushes hard in our store. They're tried and true, one of the first nutrients to ever hit the market and hit it hard. One of the first nutrients to ever be used in space, which is something that nobody could really uh, put on their uh, um, credentials other than you guys uh, as far as uh, uh, through uh, um, uh, HG, uh, or through GH, you know. And then HGH. I'll say House uh, and Garden. Uh, as I'm flexing, I love it. I, I was yeah. actually flexing when you said HGH. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, so, and, then, and then shout out to the boys over at the house and garden. Shout out to the boys at Mad Farmer. Shout out to all those yeah. good guys out there. Yeah, you so, guys stock so, the top brands. The I've noticed that. Yeah, the people that help me learn, dude, are the people that I carry. So there's companies that have been tried and true for a long time. Uh, their their overall quality control is second to none. So when you look at GH, when you look at House and Gardens, uh, Botanicare, when you look at Gold Label, when you look at some of these companies. That they're not just messing with us, dude. They're messing internationally with people that are doing large scale operations from fruit to, 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 to flowers to what we do, you know. So for me, it's, uh, it's important, you know. It's important to have people that care about the industry, care about where we're going. And if we don't put a face on this industry for ourselves, the people that take this industry over will put the face on it for us. So I believe that everybody needs to get out there. Um, it's cool to be, to be uh, from the streets, like, and it's cool to have uh, your insight as to your connections. But it comes down to if you can't speak well and you can't tell people your ideas, then nobody's going to listen. It's time to evolve with this industry. Uh, I mean, and you hear you, you can hear the passion in Stan's voice. You know, this guy, this guy does it like for real, for real. And we, we thank you for that. And I also thank you for throwing a kick-ass customer appreciation day last week. It wasn't enough that I had to go to High Times the week before, and then a week after that I'm in Vegas. And I come back from Vegas, and Stan's throwing a customer appreciation party. You know I'm going to fucking go. I don't care how hungover or how sick or fucked up I am. I'm going there. That thing uh, was yeah. cracking. This guy's got you know, so much respect in right. Torrance, without, it's crazy. Without, yeah, you know, without you there, the, the Hydro Chef keeps it happening. Uh, anytime oh, he's around, lit. whether it's in the store or on the spot, he, he he's definitely lively and loved. Yeah, we appreciate you for real, for real, Stan. And now, um, what, what's the what's the next uh, what's the next deal you got going on after the Black Friday sale? Does that regular old fashioned customer service they can expect that from you guys? Or you guys got anything coming up? Any discounts or giveaways? So pretty much any time you come in the store, no matter what, you'll get 25% off everything in the store. Lighting is always 35% off. And then uh, Grodan and uh, Ocean Forest is always 45% off. So we always do deals. Education in the store is given freely. If you want full uh, designs, then I can have, sit you down in my room to grow section for my consulting services, and we can lace you up there. So any which way you want to go, we, we can help you out, whether it's uh, from uh, design uh, aspects, 3D modeling, um, you want to impress your investors, you want me to make you a commercial, come on in, I can lay your room out in the 3D world, uh, actually put a little song to it, and you walk them through the world of the of, the, of your grill room without them ever having to, to, to walk into your actual grill room. You're making That'll them look you. professional. You're allowing them to use you to bring the professionalism because that's what you bring to the table is that professionalism slash street smart. So, I mean, dude, yeah, a like consultation with people, Stan is like talking to a wizard. Dirty shirt and laundry. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to get their operations up and running, and if you're just looking to get sold, come in. I'll help you out and get your operation up and running where it's profitable. If you're actually looking to be profitable and take over this industry in some kind of way and get a niche, come in and I'll educate you how. So I look at it. I don't want to be anybody's competitors. I'm all commercial, about helping. Commercial gardener, what's your biggest tip for a new commercial gardener building out right now? I would say, one, uh, know what city you're doing it in. So first of all, find out your regulations for each individual city, uh, uh, county, and state that you're doing it in. Outside of that, make sure that you understand the practical application of the units that you're using. So whatever light you're using, make sure you understand it. If you don't, make sure your grower does. And if he doesn't, then fire him. Name a couple of lighting brands you recommend. So lighting mini ceramics through sunlight, obviously the CMHs are huge for me. Double in in conjunction with uh, natural light. Uh, work really, really well. So if you're doing structured greenhouses, light up. I definitely say go Gavita. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're doing uh, LEDs for me or for microgreens, 
So if you're doing anything other than micro green, dude, all our listeners lighting. out there looking for LED, man, can you do you feel good about recommending a good LED? Because I know that's something out here and on the heavy T show, we're always skeptical to fucking put our neck out there. Uh, for side lighting, I would I would recommend a few companies like Agro. Obviously, for side lighting is amazing. Again, if you're doing anything from cuts to seedlings, you can do it in conjunction with the Hortolux uh, UV bulbs and and be pr- pretty uh, successful and have very little transfer shock. Uh, if you're using it solely by itself, you better stick with the LED all the way through and just accept the lack of yield. Well, they better get down to Los oh, Angeles yeah. Hydroponics yeah. and Organics and get a consultation from Stan, the man, the wizard himself. So, man. Uh, I, I appreciate the love. Big up to you, man. Thank you. I'm, I could just sit here and just keep stroking you all night, but I know you'll get tired of that. <laughs> you can hear it all day, man. So, much appreciated. Thank you for you supporting us and supporting the show. And, man, we just want to give back to you and get some people out there and keep doing what you're doing, man. Oh, uh, yeah. You know I love the hydroponic chef. Everybody go. Listen to this man. He is the best in the world at what he does. He's fucking one of the best reps in the world. So you, you listen to this man. He's definitely worth worth speaking to. I'm your rep's favorite rep. Ah, that's yeah. it. That's what's <laughs> up. Stan, you be good out there in L.A., man. Take care. Thank you again. All right, brother. Much love. Take care. All right, so we're going to take another uh, quick commercial break. I'm going to come back and talk to Brian one more time. Then we're going to go to our cooking demo. We're going to talk about this pineapple stuffed um, pineapple stuffing with some of this honey-baked ham that I got here. And, yeah. I'm getting medicated all night. That's all I do. Hydroponic Chef, DFZRadio.com. Junior, Junior. Think it's a game. I came up from nothing, nigga. You can't tell me shit. Yeah, did it on my own. Take out my neck, take out my wrist. Yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now, nigga, getting rich. I swear every day we lit. Yeah, every day we lit. Yeah, you can't tell me shit. Yeah, remember I was broke. Yeah, now I'm getting rich. Yeah, yeah. when you diamond colder than a bitch, then you Put it on my arm, just count the 50 with my mom. The ball done, all my car came from. My chain glowing, I ain't going, man. Look where we came from. Uh, all your bangles got my name on it. She want me to put my name on it. I got the hottest 16, one of the best you ever seen. But she like it when I sing on it. I came up from nothing, nigga. You can't tell me shit. Yeah, did it on my own. Check out my neck, check out my wrist, yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now a nigga getting rich. I swear every day we lit, yeah. Man. Every day we lit, yeah. You can't tell me shit, yeah. Remember I was broke, broke. Now I'm getting rich, yeah. yeah. When you diamond colder than a bitch, then you know you lit. When you quit to take a nigga bitch, then you know you lit. Every day we lit, yeah. Every day we lit, oh, yeah. That new drop, put that on my block. Yeah. I just copped a new beam, put that on my block. Yeah. I done step my game up, got my change up. Uh, I swear on my niggas, I won't never change up. Rolly all of my wrists, yeah. Rolly all of my bitch. Yeah. I ain't going back, bro. Never. Now a nigga getting rich. Yeah. I did it all on my own. Then uh-uh. nobody gave me a loan. Uh-uh. Now my diamonds on froze. Uh-uh. Now I'm fucking niggas hoes. Yeah. I came up from nothing, nigga. You can't tell me shit. Yeah, yeah. did it on my own. Check out my neck, check out my wrist. Yeah. I swear. I I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now a nigga getting rich. I swear every day we lit. Yeah, yeah. every day we lit. Yeah, you can't tell me shit. Yeah, remember I was broke. Yeah, now I'm getting rich. Yeah, yeah. when you diamond colder than a bitch, then you know you lit. When you quit to take a nigga bitch, then you know you lit. Every day we lit. Yeah. DFCRadio.com Hi, and welcome to Nonspecific Hydro. Yeah, hey, I have a buddy of mine that was telling me about a great additive. Okay, do you remember the name? Uh, yeah, his name's Steve. He's a good buddy. No, no, the product. No, he told me it was a super concentrated organic enhancer. Comes in a yellow bottle. 
Well, it sounds like he's talking about Florilicious Plus from General Hydroponics. I don't think that was the name, but he also told me it was a vegan bioplant stimulator that contained vitamins, plant sugars, amino acids, seaweed extract. Yeah, that would be General Hydroponics Florilicious Plus. I don't think that's it, man. He told me it was something like Dora Vicious Flush or something, and he said it was like an organic supplement that could also be used in vegging or flowering and that was compatible with hydro soil and cocoa. Yes, that would be General Hydroponics Florilicious Plus. Oh, hey, man. I just remembered what it's called. It's Florilicious Plus. Oh, good. I was drawing a blank. Florilicious Plus from General Hydroponics. Ask for it by name. DFCRadio.com Radio Pharmacable Cannabis, we're back. Uh, we got Brian from Mystery Baking Company in the building. We were just talking to Stan. They got that customer appreciation sale going on on Black Friday out there on uh, Los Angeles Hydro on Artesia Boulevard. And then uh, we got JC over here, man. You're an interesting dude, man. We might have to put you on the mic and shit. He knows some funny shit about pla- yeah. we got some funny shit about plastic surgery and shit. We ain't gonna say no names or nothing, but he, he's definitely worked on a few faces. But, um, yeah, he's pulled some skin in his day. Um, yeah, so we're just out here hanging out, eating on some of this uh, holiday ham and some of this uh, pineapple stuffing. We're going to play that uh, that demo for the cooking demo in a minute. We used some of that mystery baking company butter, Brian. That shit was bomb. Thank you for hooking that up. Thank you for uh, sponsoring our uh, medicated food this week. Now, thank you, Chef, for uh, giving us the platform to be here, giving us, uh, you know, airtime to to talk to your patients. And thank you for... You know, inviting us over and thank you for, for glad, the friendship, man. We're glad to Appreciate have you, man. That. And that and that's what's real too, you know. It's it's funny how this uh this edible industry just allows so many people that wouldn't even, you know, be on the same playing field to meet each other and be friends and shit. And so uh you know, on, on that note we wanna give back. And so uh, the hydroponic chef, I'm gonna put out a uh, a food drive. We're starting it this week. You can stop by Cerritos Hydroponics or Long Beach Hydroponics. You bring in some canned goods, snap a picture. Hashtag Hydro Food Drive, and you can win a General Organics Go Box from our good friends over at General Organics. Yeah, it's got everything you need to take about a 30-gallon reservoir full term for about you know five to eight plants. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a great, great deal to give back to people and get hooked up for your garden while you're doing it. So there's a bin inside the Long Beach Hydro and Cerritos Hydro. Just bring some canned goods, take a picture. Hashtag Hydro Food Drive, and you can get hooked up. So uh, That's without. Awesome. Without more delay, man, let's go into this. Uh, let's go into this cooking demo. We got about uh, ten minutes left in the episode, so we're gonna run a little bit late. But you know, it's worth it. Hang out, get your grub on. We're gonna get our dab on. And uh, happy holidays from the hydroponic chef and everyone here at DFCRadio.com. Let's eat some ham. Happy holidays from the DFC Radio Kitchen Studio. Hydro Chef's gonna bring you a cannabis-infused holiday meal, and uh, what we're gonna do this week is a holiday ham. And we're going to accompany that with a cannabis-infused pineapple dressing. So in my family, we don't do the turkey. We do the bone-in ham. We're going to glaze this with some cannabis-infused honey and then glaze. And then we're going to chop up some of this day-old bread, incorporate some sage, some onions, and celery, along with some eggs and some butter from our good friends at the Mystery Baking Company. Bring all those flavors together, accompany it with that ham for a cannabis-infused holiday feast. Let's start it on our prep for this holiday feast. The ham, when you purchase them, they're most of the time already cooked all the way through. You're just reheating the ham. So for this ham, we're gonna set the oven to 350 degrees and at about 15 minutes a pound. I put a cup of some apple cider vinegar in the bottom of this pan because that's gonna help keep it moist and you don't want your ham getting dried out. We're gonna cover it in tin foil and at about the last 15 minutes, we're gonna prep up that glaze, get it on the top of this and then get that crispy coating on the top. So once we get this in the oven, we're gonna get started on our prep for the pineapple infused cannabis dressing. So we're gonna get a nice little tent on our ham. We're gonna get this in the oven. And you don't wanna let it dry out. And that's why we're putting the tin foil on top. Put 
prep for the pineapple dressing is simple. We're gonna cube up this bread, we're gonna dice up this sage, we're gonna mix up those eggs and incorporate that in with our cannabis infused mystery baking company butter. Pineapple stuffing prep, I like to do a mixture of the Hawaiian style sweet bread and then some of this French bread. It's a good combination so you get a different texture. So let's cube up some of this, then we'll slice up our vegetables and our herbs, get those sauteed and bring this all together for holiday cannabis infused feast. Bread chopped up. The next step, we're gonna take this sugar and we're gonna break our eggs into that and then we're gonna cream the sugar and the eggs together. Then this is gonna help coat all over the uh, dressing mixture and it's gonna rise and we get a nice texture. It'll be like a souffle or a bread pudding. So let's get these in there and then we're gonna whisk this together. Real simple. A half a cup of sugar with four eggs. We've got about 12 slices of bread all together or 12 rolls. So that's good. We've got our bread done. We've got our sugar egg mixture done. Let's chop up some of these vegetables and we'll talk about our hydroponics and our soil garden. The sage I grow and the cannabis I grow is done in hydroponics, but now our rooted vegetables, these are all done in our soil garden using uh, Vermicrop Organics Vermi Soil, which is a bag soil product. It's very important when you claim that you have uh, organic vegetables that you're truly growing with a certified organic ingredient. And Vermicrop Organics makes that easy because their vermisoil, natural uh, organic soil, contains bone meal, fish bone meal, sea kelp, feather meal, bat guano, all derived from natural organic sources and CDFA certified by the state of California. So these vegetables were all produced organically and when you use vermicrop soil, you can say that and know that what you're putting out is truly what is in the bag. Let's get started cutting on the rest of these onions, and then we're gonna saute these in some of that cannabis butter. We're in the oven, the bread's cubed up, we cream together the sugar and the eggs, chopped up the vegetables and the sage. Now let's saute the vegetables on the stove top in some of this cannabis infused mystery baking company butter. We're going to use about four tablespoons. Six tablespoons of butter. because you don't want to uh, burn off too much of those medical benefits from that cannabis infused butter. So shout out to Mystery Baking Company for uh, infusing this meal. And uh, shout out to Mystery Baking Company Brian and the boys for coming on the show. Happy holidays. Fork the table cannabis. The vegetables are done when they become about translucent in color. And again, this is not going above like a medium high heat. We're just keeping that temperature nice and average. You don't want to burn out those qualities. So this is ready. Let's take this over and we're going to let it cool and we're going to incorporate it into that sugar and egg mixture along with some of that sage. So you're going to rub some butter in the bottom of your glass Pyrex glass. And uh, this is going to be ready to go. So let's start incorporating these ingredients together. 20 ounce can of pineapple drain that goes right into the egg and sugar mixture. And then we've got about three tablespoons of the sage that we're putting in there. You're gonna mix that up nice. Those flavors are in there. And now we're gonna take the cannabis butter with the vegetables, the onion, the celery. We're gonna mix that together. You wanna mix that up real quick. There we go, there we go. Now we're gonna do one layer of the bread in the bottom. 
now we're going to pour the rest of this mixture right into this. And the reason we put that base in the bottom is it gives it a little bit of a foundation for this uh, custardy egg dish with a pineapple to build on. So you can mix that together. You can fold all the liquid from one end, bring it up to the end. Nice little mixture. This is pretty much ready to go. Now let's get this in the oven and then we're gonna check on our ham and then we're gonna make this uh, cannabis infused honey glazed ham with pineapple dressing. Hydroponic chef approved, DFZ radio, farm to table cannabis. Happy holidays. All right, so we got this spread into our nice baking dish. We're gonna place aluminum foil over the top. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees with the foil on top for 25 minutes. We'll take off the foil and cook it another 25 minutes till it's golden brown on top. That'll give us enough time to put together our glaze for that honey ham. We're gonna do a cannabis infused glaze on there. We're gonna take half a cup of some brown sugar. We're gonna get some orange zest along inside there. In addition to the orange zest, we're gonna do two tablespoons of this Mystery Baking Company's honey. And then we'll take one tablespoon of water. We're gonna mix it with this along with one tablespoon of the Amarano cherry liquor liquid. And we're gonna put this on the saucepan and we're gonna let all these uh, flavors come to the consistency that we want. We're gonna lay this right over the top of our medicated honey ham along with our pineapple dressing that's been infused with that mystery baking company butter. I'm gonna go over medium heat. We've got the water in there. We've got the honey. We've got that uh, orange rind and a little bit of that Amarano cherry liquid. That cherry syrup's got such a good flavor too. You can take your little packet that comes with the ham too and you can uh, infuse it if you want with some medicated honey from Mystery Baking Company. It's up to you, hydroponic chef approved. Comes to a boil, it's done. Turn it off from the heat. We're gonna let this cool down just a little bit and then we're gonna start glazing that beautiful honey ham with our uh, cannabis infused honey glaze. Off the tin foil, we turned up the heat to 420 degrees so we can properly glaze this ham. And uh, we're gonna get that first glaze on there with our honey and our Amarano cherry syrup. And you just get a little bit of that syrup on there. Now we're gonna put some of those beautiful spiral sliced pineapple pieces because that always looks beautiful on your ham, doesn't it? So let's get those on there. And then since we already have that cherry on there, let's get some of those beautiful cherries too. All right. Can't go wrong. Cannabis infused pineapple cherry ham. and the dressings in the oven. I'm gonna give it both about another 25 minutes. Take the aluminum foil off, let that golden brown take effect on top of the dressing, and we'll serve this up. In about 25 minutes with the aluminum foil off, with the oven on at high temperatures so that glaze has got crisp up on top of the ham. So let's pull out our ham and our dressing. It came out nice. Those flavors from the cherry syrup along with that medicated honey and then we've got the cannabis infused pineapple dressing with our cannabis infused butter from our friends at mystery baking company so let's plate this up and get started on this holiday feast so let's get our oven safe glove we're going to take our hand out very gently move to our cutting surface you can see all that ham wants to just fall right off the bone. And this is pretty much ready. Let's get a couple pieces off there. Yeah, that's ready to serve. So 
so simple, so tender. It's already fully cooked when we put it in the oven. All we did was re-moisturize it and hit it with a little bit of that cannabis glaze. I'd like to thank the friends over at uh, Mystery Baking Company for providing the honey and the uh, medicated butter for this dish. And I'd like to know what you cook for your family tradition. What cannabis infused feast you would like to share with your family. And you can win your very own butter brewer just for commenting on the recipe section below. Hydroponic Chef approved, DSC Radio, Farm to Table Cannabis. Stole, swear that they had to know eggs is my soul and the flame pour a passion. Axel, rose on guitar where the pass went. Man, I say it went down the commode with your passion. No, I say it went down the commode with an accent. Let's go to the future, that's enough with the past tense. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the future, that's enough with the past tense. Ports on pivot, Jeremy Pivens. Life like entourage, but that's a given. We foresee the vision. Do you see the vision? Passports on pivot, Jamie pivots. Life like entourage, but that's a given. We foresee the vision. Yeah. Do uh, you see the vision? I ain't gotta say it. Nah, maybe I will. Welcome good, welcome back. We're about to go ham. Hope you enjoyed the ham medicated video. We had that uh, pineapple stuffing and uh, it was a good show. Thank you to Stan from uh, Los Angeles Hydroponics for coming out. And then a uh, big thank you to Brian, man. And uh, Thank you, Chef, for having us. Yeah, man. So it's just a big, it's a big circle jerk here, man. We all love each other. It's, a, it's our pleasure to bring you these edible companies every week and talk about these uh, awesome hydroponic products. A big shout out to everyone that sponsors DSZRadio.com. And uh, you can catch us on the next one, man. And uh, comment on this week's recipe. You can win your own butter brewer just for telling us what you would cook for your family for holidays. So have a safe and happy holidays. Stay lifted. Eat your edibles, but as always, medicate responsibly. Hydroponic Chef's out of here. DFCRadio.com. She provide when I'm sober, she supply half an ounce to get me by. Double that up, and I'm making money on the side. Break her up before I slide. Like, yeah. put that up on my dead homie. She ride for me more than the homie.